so we are on measures of central tendency measures of central tendency means trying to find out a central point of your data set and one way of trying to find out central point of your data set is mean so <clears throat> we saw different types of means arithmetic mean then geometric mean weighted mean and harmonic mean now what we want to see next number is called median and what median simply means is finding out center point of your data okay so how if i give you let's say certain values so 10 11 12 13 and 15 you have to find that value which will divide your data set in exactly two parts okay so that value is how much 12 and how do you get 12 it was the third value so how do you know it's the third value the formula is n plus 1 divided by 2 so how many total values did we have 5 so 5 plus 1 divided by 2 we knew that the median is third value but one thing that you need to remember before you calculate median that data has to be sorted either it has to be ascending or descending so let's try one more 7 6 15 19 17 what is the median median is again 15 but how do you get this time around 6 7 15 19 and 17 17 and 19 thank you n plus 1 divided by 2 so the answer is third value how about a data set where the values are 2 minus 3 6 4 15 and 9 now calculate a median so again you'll have to arrange your data minus 3 then 2 then 4 then 6 then 9 then 15 if you use n plus 1 6 values 6 plus 1 by 2 it's give you it's giving you 3.5 so you want to find out the 3.5th value in the center so what is the 3.5th value 1 2 and 3 this is the third value this is the fourth value so 3.5th value would be mean of these two numbers and mean of these two numbers would be 5 so median of this data is 5 clear okay so what median does it divides the data into two equal parts so the way we have median we can have quartiles deciles percentiles where you divide the data into four parts 10 parts or 100 parts next number we need to know is called mode and what mode simply means is the number which has got maximum frequency in a data set the one which is repeated maximum number of times so let's see which one let's see if you have data set like this 10 15 20 20 21 30 so on and so forth then what you'd say is that it's the 20 which is being repeated twice at times you can have a data like this 10 15 15 20 20 21 30 what is the mode now what should be the mode you have two mode in this data one is 15 other one is 20 and this data is called bimodal that there are two values which are being repeated twice so it is not necessary that there has to be only one mode there can be even five six modes in a data if they are repeated with same frequency are we clear here next data set if it's 7 9 20 25 45 what's the mode here there is no mode so it's called no modal data so not necessary that every data set should have a mode is a possibility that we might end up with a data set which has got no modes at all now a larger question is that if we have mean why do we need median and mode isn't it if we always have mean to find out that central point why do we need median now see this data carefully you're looking at percentage of return 
given to you let's say on a stock called kfa kfa would be kingfisher airlines okay so hypothetical scenario let's say first year it gave you a return of 10% next year 12% next year 13% then again 9% and then in the last year it gave you a return of minus 100% okay that means the entire value wiped off nahi ye galat example hai let's say we are looking at weights of students in our class okay so we have let us say on an average 60 someone 70 someone 60 75 80 this range and if you include my let's say 120 now if i calculate mean that mean would come out to be somewhere in the range of 90 95 but that mean is not giving me the right picture because of this one value one very large value the whole mean is being pulled upwards are you following it because of one very large value this in statistics is called skew and this is called skewness that your data is being skewed towards one side okay so if that large value is positive we call this as positive skewness if the large value was smaller we would have called it as negative skewness because the data is skewed my mean might not be a very good number to give me a central tendency and that's where median and mode comes in handy so here the mode of your data set is 60 and median of your data set how many values do we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 3.5th value so if i arrange it 60 60 70 and 75 median is 72.5 so when the data is skewed mean fails and that's why you need median and mode to give you an idea about the data set are we clear